Hello, Johnny from Eurogamer here, and this is Owlboy, which is a charming platformer you may have heard of since it's been in development for the last uh, nine years. But it's finally out now, which is just great, so I decided I would have a look. Now, some of this game has been released before as a demo, which you might have seen or you might have played. So if you have and you want to see entirely new stuff, skip to the end of this video because there's going to be a second Let's Play in which I am playing entirely new stuff. But if you've never seen Owlboy before and you want to check it out, uh, I'm just going to start a new game. Now, uh, there's quite a bit of story stuff before we're kind of given control of the main character, Otis. Um, and I think, for the in the interest of time, I'm going to skip it. But basically, you're about to see Otis himself. Otis is uh, he is the the uh, eponymous owl boy. Here he is there on the left, and he lives in this lovely village full of owl people and people people. Uh, and he is trying to learn how to be a very good owl, despite the fact uh, he was born a mute which was a bit of a, a struggle for him and he basically has been chronically disappointing his teacher he's not very bright apparently he's not very good at flying uh, he's generally speaking he's not the finest example of a young owl that the village has ever seen but uh, you know we have high hopes for him so I'm gonna skip ahead now Okay, right, we are back, and we are in bed, seemingly. Being woken up <laughs> by our owl master, who's kind of cruel. He's He's been chronically disappointed in Otis, as you can sort of see from his heavy sighing. He's a hard taskmaster. taskmaster. Oh. <laughs> so you can see you can sort of flap around, you can pick things up, you can consume items to regain health. And this is Valley, which is the starting area in Owlboy, and it is gorgeous. The art style is really, really nice. It takes me back to a lot of games I used to play as a kid, sort of on the Super Nintendo. There you go. And there are lots of people who live in Valley alongside the owl people and it's our duty to protect them from sky pirates and how do we do that by flying through little rings to get some points we can also as and when we need them pull things up and you can throw stuff around like what the hell what was that uh, throw things you can consume them Find more delicious rings to go through. Let's see. Not sure what that is. So up is the plaza. That's where I live, so back at the start. Whoops. Let's keep going. Hello. Maybe we want to do something later. Otis and Geddy, the unsolved team. Let's 
So that's Geddy, a good friend of ours. And he's apparently seen a troublemaker. Right. That may be what we caught a glimpse of earlier, to be perfectly honest. Let's continue to have a look. Hello, Bongo Man. Okay, pirates to the west. Let's go have a look. That's certainly a bongo from the looks of things. That's where they've all been going. Oh, this game's so gorgeous. Fear Bend Bonacci. Fear Bonacci. Very good. Oh. Really has had a tough break. Now this is where it starts to get interesting, really, in Owlboy, is that... Let's give this a sec to spin round. There is Geddy, who carries a blaster. So, if we pick him up, suddenly we become this ridiculous dream team of Owl and Nerd with Gun. You can destroy all sorts of things. Signposts. Stolen bongos, crates, but also, I seem to remember, a little bit further down, oops, oh dear, ah, it's these guys again. Such dicks. Yeah, you best run away. That doesn't sound good. Aha! This will be our mysterious troublemaker then. Right then. There he goes. Good silhouetted thing. We can shoot him. Yes, we can. Ooh, rings. Keeping my eye on the job, obviously. Oh, where's he gone? I've lost him because I was too busy flying through. Ooh, rings. <laughs> flying through rings. Or have I? Let's see if he's in here. Well, well. More stolen bongos that I'm going to have to shoot to get out of the way. Really hope that guy doesn't know that I just destroyed all of his stolen wares. This weird Cthulhu-esque flying 
Testicles? Testicles. Be gone, Lovecraft, you nuts. Let's see. One of the things I really like about Owlboy, apart from, you know, the assets are gorgeous and the game is really, really fun, it's just... It's got these lovely sections where you've got sort of like very gentle puzzles. It's never too hard, but they just create a great sense of like this owl kind of mythos. It's all just very gorgeous and very really satisfying to play. What's this? Um, I lovely rings. What on earth is this thing? It kind of looks like a weird, angry spider. Let's see. I suspect that the blaster, yeah, does nothing. So I just throw my mate away for a minute. There we go. Yes, he is a spider, okay. He's using his butt rope to escape to safety. Let's grab you, big gun nerd. Up we go. Useful. Really glad I didn't shoot him to death before he bombed that thing. Oh, but it was fine. It would have given me the things anyway. Hmm. Uh oh. Alright, looks like we're on our own. Luckily, Isis can do sort of a spin attack. Which is kind of, oh yeah, there you go, kind of useful. And this thing, you get on the other side and spin, screws it down in. Which is just lovely, it's a really nice bit of design. Coins! Take that, you beardy bastard. Ah. Right. Let's try that again. Sweet. Let's have a little radishy thing. Regain some health. of money. <laughs> Let's go up here. Another smashy rock. Slightly ominous gate closing behind us. And a big spiky ceiling. That's just lovely. You can get. Now. Sweet. Nothing too challenging so far. It's kind of just a really nice. I mean, we are very much in the uh, prologue, but. This is a really nice game to sort of explore and play with. And this, unless I'm very much mistaken, yes, kind of a Skyrim-esque 
manipulate the bits, move the door, get out the thing puzzle. Hey! There's Geddy, he's back. Satisfy noise when they pop. And chick 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 bonk. I could listen to that all day. Right. So excited about coins, <laughs> it just dropped my mate. I wonder how high we can drop him from. <laughs> oh, really shouldn't do this, but it's quite fun. Ooh. Oh dear. He's fine. He's grand. He's absolutely fine. Don't worry about it. And there's our trouble waiting friend again. Oh, hello. Don't mind if I do. Right, what do we have to do now? Huh. Right. Oh. All right, friend. Oops. Damn it. Let's put you down gently this time. Okay. Eat one of these. Aha. We've got a heavy bell. Which, if you ask me, looks just about heavy enough. To replace our friend here. Lovely. Bullets don't work here. Spin attack very much does. Not exactly sure what kind of rock can withstand blast a fire that can't hack an owl. Kind of just like butting into it, but never mind. Oh wow, you can just keep racking up bonus health. This I did not know. Okay. Good to know. Really got to stop just throwing him around willy nilly. Grab him. Mosey down here. Oh, this looks boss battly. Oh dear. Shoot him in the bum. Easy. No. He's not quite done. Because of course he can also fly. 
right. right. Ow. Easy peasy. Typical archaeologist. Finds a thing, wants to chip bits off of it. Right. <laughs> Let's get out of these webs. Of course, the way to get him out of the web is just to spin attack him. He's very happy to have just been biffed in the face, but alright. <laughs> so, of course, you'll keep going. This guy just has absolutely no regard for his own personal safety or the safety of others. He just exploded a giant relic pillar and it's revealed this weird padlock looking thing and now he just, just wants to straight up mash the button. Yeah, okay, but he is at least smart enough to save his own skin. Strange device with a button. handy, I don't have to track back to grab him. For example, I just leave him here, and then boop! Sweet! Easy enough. Also means presumably I can just drop him and then it's no big deal. Ah. Guessing so. Yes, wrong way. Here we 
Omega. Sky Pirate, the most dreaded and airborne of all pirates. Methinks I smell a stealth section. <laughs> Sky Pirate. Right. Let's do this thing. Go on the back of this guy? No. Have to go in front. Okay. Fine. So far, so good. Still being stealthy despite firing a very loud blaster. Also to the good. Ooh, more rings. Completely go around that one. These pirates don't know they're born. Piece of piss. Okay. Blatantly gonna get spotted now for my hubris. No, there we go. Is this where you wanna be? No. Okay, fine. Oh crap. Yes, alright. Yeah, maybe got a bit cocky there. I'm in trouble. Yes, I'm in trouble. Brilliant engineering work there from Getty and Getty's foot. Bloody pirates always wanting to pillage. Yeah, go on, sod off. Alright, so these pirates have managed to hide a relic of some sort. Clearly there was something else in the temple that got nicked. But what? I don't know.
layers upon layers of owly owly intrigue. Interesting. <laughs> that's a pretty, I mean, like, I know these pirates just attacked your home, but that's a pretty extreme response. Bloody hell. Everyone's such a naysayer. <laughs> Way to pile on the pressure as well. Otis doesn't deserve this. Right then, so... I happen to know for a fact that we are getting toward the end of what was uh, made available as part of the demo so yeah we're gonna fly through this gate and then I will bid you a, a temporary adieu because at the end of this video you're gonna see a little end card pop up with part two of this little let's play where we have a look at some of the new stuff and get into the owl temple so if you want to watch that please do feel free otherwise thank you so very much for watching I've never seen this before actually just one minute, what the hell is this? A pirate holding an anchor. Oh, that'll be the relic they stole. Interesting. Yes, alright, so this is where we'll pick up next. So, uh, yeah, like I say, if you want to carry on this little journey through Owlboy, there should be uh, another Let's Play on screen right now. Give that a click and I will see you in seconds. Thank you for watching. Bye!